Namibia's many colored gemstones are valued for their spectacular beauty as collectors' pieces or set in jewelry, either faceted, cut, and polished, or in their rough form. Gemstones have been appreciated for thousands of years, and their allure keeps growing. It was the gemstones in the breastplate of a high priest mentioned in Exodus in the Old Testament that first caught the interest of gemstone collector and science teacher Mariki Berger. And I never knew that stones had properties. And once I found the properties of the 12 stones in the breastplate of the high priest, everything about crystals just made sense to me. I got to know basically all the crystals and all the stones that you can find in Namibia, outside of Namibia. When I learned that, I was already a beader. She began to research the stones, their chemical composition and crystalline structure. And I realized when I got to the properties of the stones that nobody else is doing it. So I started documenting it, making posters of it. I had no idea why. The event that basically changed my whole approach to the stones and the crystals here in Karabip is when I bought my first stone. She was ideally located to delve into the world of minerals, living in Karabip, the center of the small mining sector in Namibia. When I bought the first stone, I became the stop for every small miner in the Karabip district. And as a creator of bead and carbocon jewelry, she was already well set on the mineral path she found herself frequently viewing and purchasing stones, soon becoming an avid collector. I like people, so I always sat down with them and said, now, kind of, where are you? How are you mining? What are you looking for? And I start talking with them. And that's how I heard their stories. And those stories to me was like fairy tales. I could only hear the stories if I buy the stones. So I bought the stones and I had to know what did I buy. At the beginning, I had no idea what I was buying. Although new to her, the healing properties of stones are well documented worldwide and there is evidence of that knowledge reaching far back in time. Today, there is an ever-increasing interest in the healing properties of stones. With her rational brain and scientific background, it made perfect sense that stones could have deeper properties. After all, Einstein gave a hint when he said that everything has energy. vibration depends on the type of crystal that you have. Crystals vibrate just as we vibrate. Only difference is the vibration of crystals never stops. It's also never changing. It's got a constant vibration and we can wear or use or carry crystals to get our vibration into tune again. And if we are energetic beings, then it follows that the stable compositions found in crystals could affect and raise our more volatile energy levels. Every crystal, because of its vibration, they gave certain, uh, certain crystals certain properties. One crystal doesn't have one property. Elements in the compound differ. And that is why crystals have different properties also. She went further into an investigation, illustrating the seven energy centers of the body and the crystals and properties associated with them. Some people call it the chakras, it's the energy whirlpools in our body. The chakra depends on the vibration of the stone. Just like in our body, we can group our organs also in seven groups according to the vibration of the organs, and the crystals match that. This understanding of crystal makes her appreciate the Namibian gemstones even more. And whether you believe the stones have healing properties or not, it is undeniable that a sparkling clear quartz crystal or an exquisite cluster of amethyst lifts the spirit. Many times those raw crystals doesn't have a lot of value. For the crystal healers, it does. Mm -hmm.